minions it's sassy assassin here back with another video so in today's video i'm going to be reacting to a tammy lemon weight loss related video and the title of that video is what i eat in a day off track slash food vlog and then the brackets in brackets tw ed i don't know what the tw ed means but anyways um this is my very first tammy lemon video and i'm reacting to her not as a critic but as a supporter so the vibe is completely different from how i'd react to like amber an amberlynn or a chantelle video so i don't want you guys to think i'm coming off as bullying her or anything like that because i actually like tammy, tammy lemon i think she's a very sweet person she's got a wonderful personality and i'm very empathetic towards her situation with food because I myself struggle with the same thing. Also, I just want to say um, to check out my community tab with updates on my gaming related content. I have started a gaming channel. I worked on setting that up last night and I <laughs> I downloaded all the, re the live streams that I've done for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And so when I uploaded the first episode onto my new channel, I realized the quality of the picture was just horrible. And so I thought, oh God, this isn't going to work. People are going to see this and be like, oh my God, why is it so bad? Um, and then on top of that, my Xbox started to malfunction a little bit. And that's because the motherboard that I have my game capture card in does not support the capture card that I have. It sort of does, but it can malfunction at times. So nevertheless, I decided because I was having problems, I was just going to delete the game. I, but on top of it, well, I didn't really delete it. Well, I deleted it purposely, but to um, help rectify the problem. But I realized that nevertheless, I was going to delete the game anyway and start over just so, you know, if for future ref you know for future people who don't catch me on the live stream and want to look back at that content they're gonna they're not they're not gonna think all of my gaming related content is like picture like quality is that bad so without further ado let's get in to today's video i, I have it at 1.25 so here we go my peoples i can't see the play button okay there we go Aww, a little kitty on the Instagram thing. Hello, Lemfem. So I just woke up. It's September 15th. It has been like a little bit of a weird morning. It's actually afternoon right now, but still, like I just woke up. Like in my head, it's still morning. <laughs> it's 1 p.m. right now. So I went to bed around 1.30 a.m. And I woke at 7 and then I went back to sleep at 8 and then I slept until 10. Then I went to bed at 11 again, 11 this morning, and then I woke at 12. Like, it's like messy. But I am trying to get enough sleep because my sleep schedule has been like a little bit wobbly and I do not want to stay up all night and sleep during the day because that's very very not beneficial for my mental health and or my binging. So since it's a little Okay, is she working or is she on assistance? I mean, I know she they, people some I asked her when I was looking into Tammy Lemon whether she where she lived and I think somebody said the Netherlands, like Denmark or whatever. So is she like on some sort of assistance program that they provide over there? Is that why she's has a weird work schedule because as a person who doesn't work right now and is currently looking for a job um like i don't have a the best of sleeping schedules because there's no structure there that you know and i feel like having a job will help me adhere to a better better sleeping schedule and more structure in my life and it sucks because it can affect your mental health and it can affect your life in such negative ways so i'm trying to adhere to a sleeping schedule but it's kind of hard when you really don't have much to look forward to aside from like going to the gym and you know occasional shopping trips i just literally aside from the gym part like totally <laughs> totally explained in a couple words amberlynn's entire life <laughs> oh my god that's isn't that Wait, isn't that funny? Like, seriously, I don't mean to make this about Amberlynn, but I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm just like, wow, I just, like, literally explained Amberlynn's entire life. Like, not really working a proper 
works, you know, having a proper sleeping schedule, a work schedule, and, you know, just occasionally taking shopping trips and making doctor's appointments. The gym is the only thing that Amberlynn doesn't do that is different from mine. It's sad, but it, you know, this is what happens when, I guess, when you get to a weight where you are so morbidly obese that you can't do certain things. Because there are several jobs that have, you know, employers that have reached out to me, you know, for, because they saw my resume, you know, and they're just like, okay, you'd be so perfect for this job. And then I look at like what it, you know, what the, you know, qualifications are and what the, you know, the, the job description is. I'm like, I can't do this because it involves like lifting stuff and walking around and standing for long periods of time. Like, and it sucks because I'm thinking if I was a normal person, you know, applying for that job and I didn't have any issues, I could totally do it. So it, it just sucks. It really does. The jobs that I'm looking for are more work at home based, uh, clerical, you know, data entry, customer service, something where I have the ability to sit down, but also I'm going to give myself the, make sure I give myself time to get up and move around just so I'm not sedentary all the time. But at, at some point, once I lose this weight, I would like to be able to do more challenging jobs, but I don't know if, even if with the weight loss, if my body would ever allow me to do so. That's just, the, that's the kicker right there. A little bit later, I always struggle a lot with eating. Like, what should I do? Should I have lunch? Should I just have my breakfast? My dietitian says, like, just eat your breakfast, wait for like two, three hours, then eat your second meal. Well, wait. if you don't have anything going on during the day, Tammy, then, you know, like a job, then you're going to be focusing so much on food. I hate to say it, but maybe you should consider, you know, finding some type of employment that allows you to stay home. Okay, but focused on something that isn't food. That's why I game and stuff like that. Because I do, at the, in, the, in the meantime, find myself, you know, distractions. Like reading a book or, you know, um, gaming. Which, yeah, is somewhat of a distraction. But it still is not enough structure, in my opinion. And I can game, you know, you guys will probably see me gaming at three or four o'clock in the morning to God knows what time, it's because I have no, there's no structure right now. And it's, and it sucks. And I realized after so long of just living in this, that, this kind of mentality, how toxic it is. Like the job scam did teach me one thing. It taught me that I, I can do, but you know, can do better than what I'm doing right now. And it opened like it, it turned, it opened like this, it just took off the rose colored glasses. It like activated this hunger inside me for like, for, to actually work and to have better hours and get up earlier and, and stuff like that. Like I want to do a proper nine to five job, you know, plot, you know, punch in and punch out kind of thing. I want to do that and earn a proper wage and do, you know, more than ever. So I, when I think, I, but I've been reflecting a lot on the job skin and I think it was a lesson to teach me like what I could have as opposed to what I have now. I'm grateful for what I have now. I'm grateful for the people in my life, but it's like, I know that there is more than this, you know what I mean? So I spend a lot of act, you know, active parts of my day when I'm up and, you know, not sick, you know, because when I'm sick, sometimes that can also be hard. I am, you know, Filling out job applications, doing assessments for the jobs that, you know, that require it. You know what I mean? Like, I will nab one in the bag. Don't worry. It's just, it's taking time. I think I've done like 10 resumes today, 10, 15 resumes today alone. So I, I, I lot myself a couple hours just to do all of that stuff and, and do emails and stuff like that. Um, so... Um, then I'll have time. So I'm trying to put structure in and then I'll have time to like focus on like, you know, other stuff that I want to do, like gaming or, you know, household chores and stuff like that. Spending time with the family and my pets. So there you go. 
I can't, can't see the play button. Again, for two, three hours, eat your dinner, and that's just it. So that's what I'm most of the time trying to do, but it really, like, it messes a little bit with my mental, like, my mind. Because I'm, I'm like, yeah, but it already has been, like, my window of eating breakfast. So is this my lunch? Is this my breakfast? But I then remember, like, what my dietitian says, like, okay, don't see it as breakfast or lunch. Just see it as my meal number one. I also have a little bit of a day where I'm, like, I do give a f It's not that I don't, don't care about it. But I am having a day where I'm just a little bit, like, <sighs> I'm just a little bit tired of eating healthy all the time. I'm eating a little bit... You know what, who she r reminds me of? Nikki Tutorials. Like, she looks almost like her a little bit. Like, Nikki Tutorials, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. And I'm just like, wow. You know? She's just... She's so gorgeous. Like, and Tammy is, is beautiful, too. Like, she may not realize it. I hope she realizes it. But she's... She's gorgeous. Like, seriously different than I normally would. So I would still call this like I'm still eating under my calories for the day, but this is what I see as like a healthier and healthy day. So I thought I would film everything that I am going to eat today. I do not have any plans yet for dinner or whatever. Most of the time that's pretty healthy, like in terms of calories at least. So um yeah, let's just start with my breakfast or my first meal. By the way, I am I'm holding like with my hand, I'm holding my lower fat roll. I don't know. Like it's getting loose lately and it's very fun to play with. I have some so, um, what I noticed with her, she's not planning on a binge or, you know, an off track day. She's just taking it as it comes and listening to her, you know, her body and stuff like that. I mean, she's, she's going through a process and I, and I respect that. See with Amber, she would, I, I'm probably going to be, when I react to Tammy, I'm probably more often than not, I'm probably going to be comparing her to Amber um, from what I can tell, okay, these are not planned. This is just going with the flow and just then I, later on reflect on what I did right and what I did wrong, which is, which is what I do, you know? So, but I'm, see, my problem also is I'm a mindless eater. Like I can eat mindlessly and I'm not even thinking about eating. I'm not even like in that, in a space where I really re realize what I'm doing until... I look down and see that I've eaten something, you know, it's, it's terrible. And it's something that I'm going to be working on. I just have to, there's so much that I have to do, you know, in order to get even to the therapy part of recovery. So it's a little complicated and I think I'm going to do a sit down video talking about it. But anyways, moving on artificial sugar i'm going to add some milk like essentially this is just what i have eaten yesterday essentially the sugar i'm going to it's very fun to play with i have some artificial sugar i'm okay. going to add some milk like okay, essentially this, this is just what i have eaten yesterday some oats with an apple and then like i said i'm a little bit like not really hungry but i just crave sweet stuff um so yeah this is custard we sell our custard like this and it's Ooh. always like in the um, the fridge section that's like kept cold this is actually a custard that tastes like cocoa and pineapple but like if you look Ooh. at the nutrition that's in here it's pretty pretty bad like um well i try not to use words like bad or whatever Sorry, it's I'm just always, it, it has got some sugar and not like the complex sugar but i'm always fascinated by like foods from different countries. So um, I think I've heard of this custard before, but see, I have never, I don't have any relatives that live in the Netherlands. I don't really know a lot of people from the Netherlands, but I th I've seen something similar like this, like in a, a marketplace, whatever. I think that what might, might have been world market. I don't know. There's, there's this, uh, a, like this kind of, obscure kind of like columbus like marketplace that does has a lot of imported stuff so that's may have where i've seen this custard because i recognize it i didn't buy it or anything like that because i realized that it's not very healthy but um i do recognize it the simple sugars so that's why i normally don't eat things like this i try to don't eat too much simple sugars so i do have this little tiny cup and i'm just going to have a little bit of it oh my god i hate when this happens and do you know what i do yeah i'm super gross and i just lick it off 
Yeah, I'm, I'm by the way the only one. Honestly, I would do the same. <laughs> that eats this, so it's okay. So let's get that in here. I also really have to clean my fridge. And maybe I will have some fruit today. I have a lot of fruit. So now I decided to eat something which has like quite some sugar. I take the like the smallest spoon that I have to really like enjoy this as long as possible by having little spoonfuls. I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to cut up an apple and after it's warm and the artificial sugar has melted, I'm going to add my oats and my apple. So this will be it for my breakfast. I have my oats right here. And like I said, one cut up apple and i also have my little cup of custard and i'm going to really enjoy this so bon appetit honestly okay. i would um i i would have like offset that with like maybe some instead of the custard some carrot stick whatever just to have like a a vegetable option but the oats looks good like see i, I buy the instant stuff and maybe they don't have that kind of option available maybe that's the way they make their oats over there like um, my, my mom does have, like, a big thing of regular oats that she uses for cooking purposes, but when, like, when I run out of, like, oatmeal and, and stuff, like, I do, like, use her regular oats, whatever, and I can make, I'm, I, I like to, like, put a lot of fruit and stuff with my oatmeal, um, I, I try to not have as much sugar as possible and just let the natural fruit sugars and fruit juices from the fruit itself to sort of be a sweetener but sometimes i do add a little bit of agave um it's a better uh, than honey has a low, lower like a glycemic index um so yeah but i do also have like right now i have a pumpkin spice uh oatmeal pack and then i have a cinnamon roll and um the other day like i was i had some apple slices that i cut up and put into there to the pumpkin one no it was cinnamon and then uh i added a little bit of the agave sweetener okay it was a cinnamon one and then like just a a, a tablespoon of peanut butter for just some extra added protein i don't like having a lot of peanut butter i'd rather have thing you know uh almond butter or sunflower butter but like i don't have like readily available but it was so good like i let i put the peanut butter right after it like got out of the the, the microwave and i just let it sit in there and it just melted with everything oh it was it's so good and so filling this is like kind of reminds me of a, like a mom my, my mom calls them sugar buddies butties it's like butter and then like a little like a sugar on top but she's using sprinkles so i am going to continue this will be my lunch it's actually almost 4 p.m already but okay this is my second meal like i said today is a day where i i don't know like normally i would have beaten myself up over a day like this i try to not see foods as super good or super bad whatever these things like i don't know it's not really a cracker but it's this like puffy airy thingy it's really crunchy like here this is what it looks like on the inside those are just 40 calories but in each and every one of these things is 0.8 pure sugar so and also like if you see the chocolate sprinkles more sugar so like i said this is a day okay, where okay. i'm not making the healthiest choices but still it's not a binge I it's also not over use, i don't i don't use like i i have to use like vegan like vegetable based butter like you know vegan butter is like a, you know like uh, what is it the country crock like avocado butter or um olive i think it was there's um i can't remember what the options they have but um then there's the melt one as well like you know some da the dairy free pretty much the dairy free ones whatever and the plant based ones eating it's a day where i choose to eat less healthy options than i normally would but i still stay but under my choosing. calorie count yeah. but she she's choosing to eat less healthy options but she's trying to stay okay within her calorie the only problem with that is that these kind of foods they fill you up quickly but they don't give you the necessary nutrients to keep you full for all the, throughout the day which is why it's important to make healthier choices i know it's like easier said than done but it's like that's pretty much what i get from my doctor is like and that's pretty much like the fundamentals of you know staying healthy is making healthier food choices but it's so hard, especially in America, where you, you're you living in a country that is literally, like, I feel like the fast food capital of the world, you know? It's like, there's a fast food place around, like, so many fast food places, 
where I live. I mean, close to where I live, I have a Subway, I have like a Long John Silver's, KFC, uh, a pizza place, whatever, two McDonald's in my close vicinity, a Wendy's, a Burger King, an Arby's, like so many fast food places, like, and not very many like healthy ish food places like then there's like the local pizza like the local mom and pop pizza joint that we like to, we like to go to on occasion um there is a place near my gym and it's called brew dogs and we we went there for mother's day and it's like around the same time i think is i know it was like a birthday and mother's day is like the same time around as my sister's birthday so we went to brew dogs and it's like literally like their menu is pretty much vegan at this point, like um, plant based, whatever you know, it's plant based and it's healthier. Um, and they also this place like has where you can like it's like a dog park uh, near the vicinity. Um, also um, has like a place where you sit outside with like a campfire. They even have a hotel within the brewery, and they have really amazing beer. Like it's so good. Um, but, like, that's the, I'm going to say that's the one healthiest place that I've been to within this, like, year. And that's so sad because, like, I wish there was healthier places that we could afford to go to around me. I mean, there is Chipotle. Like, they do have a, I do have a Chipotle near me. Um, and they do have, like, I guess one option of a meat list, whatever. It's healthy-ish, whatever. But it's, like, I just wish there was better options and I know Uber Eats is a thing and you know doing stuff like that but it's like that it adds up you know the delivery charges and stuff like that like it's so much more money than than just going to the actual restaurant I mean we have a Bob Evans as well and stuff like that I mean there are healthier options within the fast food but it's just like you're so limited you know I just wish they had you know like McDonald's for example I wish they were more inclusive because that's a common place that we go to, you know, because it's affordable. I wish they were more inclusive when it come came to dietary needs. Like, I wish we had, like, the the vegan, you know, a vegan burger or, you know, meat, meatless or whatever. You know, I wish they had that. Like, other countries have it. They have the meat, meatless options. I just don't understand why we don't. It's just really irritating. And I know KFC for a time had it, but I, I think I missed out on having that. And then I heard it wasn't even that good anyways. It was it was crap. Like, BrewDogs is the only place that I've been to that within this year that I can honestly say that had really good meatless, healthy options. But it's not always within our price range, unfortunately. So I think it costs, like, for, let's say, five people... Okay, it costs like a hundred and some dollars just to eat there. But you have to keep in mind it's five people. Um, and it's quality, like, it's a quality, sh like, restaurant. Now, and when I start my job, like, whatever, I I'm going to make sure at least once a month we go to a nice restaurant. Like, brew dogs or something like that. Mostly brew dogs because it's closer and I'm a huge fan because it's primarily like um meatless you know like i remember when i went there i had like um i didn't know it was a double but it was like a double cheeseburger with sweet potato fries and i had some carrot sticks on like carrots on the side um i couldn't finish the, the even like the first pallet burger because it was like these beyond meat patty whatever and they're so huge I couldn't even finish the first one, so, like, I literally got, like, two days worth of a meal out of the burger alone. The sweet potato fries I did finish because, I mean, come on, they were so good, but, like, I got li literally, like, it's, like, at least two days out of, out of the, um, that meal because their burgers are actually really filling, and I wasn't, like, hungry, so much, so much hungry afterwards, after eating there like with if i go to mcdonald's i do get a big meal you know even just a small three dollar bundle meal and it's a lot of calories but it's like 
I'm so hungry not long after because I'm not getting anything nutritious out of that meal, at least with the plant-based stuff. You know, I, you know, a lot, some of it, I was getting some nutritional value out of it. And sometimes like there are a couple times where I ha had salads at like fast food restaurants and I had a really nasty experience where I found a dead, a few dead bugs in my salad. And just ever since then, I've just been so like very leery about getting salads at fast food places but that's just me just wanted to show what i eat in days like this where Sorry, i'm more unhealthy so in my opinion than i normally am by the way if you're interested they contain like 6.6 .6 grams of carbs and uh, of those carbs 0.8 grams of carbs are like pure sugar so yeah Ooh. so she understands the label really well okay she's very she's very educated about it which is more than I can say for Amber. She doesn't understand the value, like the, the nutritional value of what she's eating. And she's supposed to be in special therapy. Uh, doesn't she see like a special dietitian or something? I mean, she is paying like, what, 800 a month for this program? I don't get it. Like, why aren't you seeing it? Isn't there like a, why isn't there like a dietitian in this program? Why is it just a psychologist? Because, like, I don't see her paying attention to that certain aspect. Even though she's on keto, it's like, she should be careful with that even because of her kidney stones. Like, I've considered trying keto just because I've got, you know, I, I've heard so many good things about it. But I've been cautioned not to do keto because of my kidney issues. It's just, uh, but I have seizures. So it's like, it's good for seizures. So I'm like, I'm kind of like on the fence about it. But, oh, I've broken a toilet seat or two. I'm not going to lie. It, you know, reality of being a fat person. I'm not being insensitive when I say that, but I'm just saying I have broken a toilet seat or two. Well, one time it was actually Winnie that helped me break the, the one because, you know, he tried to jump on the toilet seat to get out of the um, bathtub when we were bathing him. Yeah, it was a whole thing. She's lost a good amount of weight, though, and I do plot her for that. <laughs> wow, she's very messy. I'm not the cleanest either. I try to be clean, but... Hello, I'm Fem. So it is pretty late. Yeah, it has been 9 p.m. Hi, Stewie. Hi, Yuki. <laughs> it has been 9 p.m. and I am like dreading to cook for myself, but I am going to cook for myself because it's the week that I will have my period and I know that I am prone to binging during that time. So just eating at least my three meals at sort of regular times is very important. So I'll just, I'm just going to start. So as you can see, I butchered some bell peppers and zucchini. I seasoned it with just some pepper and some salt. That's it. And then yesterday I brown some of this ground meat no ground beef yeah and i'm just going to add that to here and then i'm going to just add a, like a pre-packaged um pasta sauce really really easy i just have to get in some food and i don't feel like cooking very very like hardcore so first of all i'm going to cook my veggies then here's my little pantry area i think that i'm going to go for this sauce maybe spaghetti, like spaghetti and macaroni but then i also have this stuff this is i don't know like i don't speak is this russian i don't know i'm going to just use one of these instant sauces with it and it's a little bit of a mess i am in the process right now of rearranging this extra spare room as you can see like this was full and full and full of junk okay, i am I rearranging it to make this my youtube oh oh no my youtube area 
Over here there is my new light stand that I bought. Really excited about that. Ooh. Then I still have to clean this pile of stuff. Like nice. most of it is just stuff that I have to put into these boxes. It's just like laziness. I didn't put it back when I used it so I have to do it now after months and months of it laying there. I also cleaned that whole table and there's some stuff that we will be needing for tomorrow because we are going to paint tomorrow. And right there there's a little cup of like wet cat food because I spoiled my guests just earlier. By the way I have been sweating so much and then whilst cleaning I figured like oh my god like my t-shirt is like the wrong way this is like the back of the t-shirt but whatever I did a lot of sweating so I really have to take a shower later to feel a little bit more human I guess so um yeah that's it and also I'm not wearing a bra like I haven't been wearing a bra all day so yeah if you saw that I have big dangly boobs I know <laughs> So next I am adding, if it wants to come out, come on, really? <laughs> okay, let me get some help from this spoon. Just, uh, come on, get out. I think that's okay. Okay, so take two. I'm adding my minced meat to this. Okay, that was less smooth than I expected it to go. But yeah, here is my sauce. And if I have to be really honest, it smells not that appetizing. And also like when you look at the consistency, if I shake this jar, like just from looking at it, I know that there is a lot of water in this sauce together with some like maizena, I think it's called. Like this thing that makes consistencies a little bit thicker. So, and that's something that I really, really hate about society. Like instead of real tomatoes and real veggies, they are just pumping these jars full of water with some stuff in there to make it a little bit thicker. So if you look at the nutritions that are in here, like the veggies and stuff like that, there's just not a lot of veg and there are all i am moving learning so much about this stuff like the she knows so much like oh my god this is, i don't get this shit from an amber lynn reed video like she's educating us you guys people buying this stuff and thinking like oh my god this is healthy because it's red and there must be like tons of tomatoes in there but yeah there isn't. that's another reason why i really like to make wow. my own sauces normally so let's see as i suspected like right here where my thumb wow she's very so informative and you know honestly you know the one youtuber that i get so much inspiration from isabel page i mean she like lives a very in my, in my point of view a very idyllic life you know in the mountains and she has a just everything so it's i want to say it's her videos are so aesthetically pleasing but she cooks and grows her own food like she's such a healthy eater it just amazes me what she can do but she worked with so many different people to gain a certain amount of skills to be able to to grow cook and you know to prepare and cook the, the food and i mean she i uh her recent video she was like making uh she made her own apple cider vinegar and then at one point and then she was preparing elderberry wine and from elderberry uh blue like blueberries or whatever um from like the wild i'm just like wow like it's so amazing like just these some of these people i see on youtube like and then this tammy i'm just getting such a different vibe from her like she just is so much more educated about what about food and what she puts you know what products and stuff like that like what's it, you know what the labels and stuff like that i'm trying to be i'm trying to like um i sound like an idiot right now like seriously is it says like modified maizena stuff i think that's the translation i will put the right translation up here if it isn't correct oh i really hate the food industry sometimes it's just yeah, it's not an excuse true. but it does set us up for failure like all the time yeah it's true though they sell us products that they try to say comes off as healthy but they're really not and that's one thing i'm glad she points out and that's something that amberlin and Chantel never pointed out and never recognized that just because it label is titled as healthy doesn't mean it's necessarily the healthiest thing from what my doctor um and you know dietary you know physicians that i've seen okay eating you know fresh early or frozen if you can and is the healthiest you, you know be as healthy as you can you know you know what I mean? Like, just be wary about buying prepackaged stuff. Even some canned items as well. Like, oh, it's but it's so hard when you're on a limited budget. Because sometimes, you know, buying fresh produce is more money. You know, you can't afford it. You know, if it, especially if you want it to keep for the whole month, you know? Like, 
I'm in the process of learning ways to preserve stuff like that for to last long time. And, um, you know, just so I can buy healthier and not feel like I'm only buying for like a short amount of time, even though I'm spending a good amount of money. It, you know what I mean? Like, and then there's the, the space too, like limited space, you know, space in the refrigerator and in the freezer, you know, it's just like, it's just hard. It's, it's really, it's not fair. No, don't like it. And why so just why to make so easy things to easier and cheaper and, ugh, no. But yeah, that's just me ranting about food and society totally, doesn't totally help you relate, in girl, like, food totally choices. Da, 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 da. By the way, the stuff to make things like this thicker, they also like use it in soups and other sauces, stuff like that. Like, I dare you to check it out, like you will be astonished. So if you think like, okay, so if it's a bed, then why continue eating it? That is because all that stuff that you saw laying in that box right there, perfect. <laughs> um, all that stuff that I got right there in that box is stuff that I got for free. And at this moment, it really, really helps me a lot because I don't have to go to the store to buy food myself. It really helps me not to get tempted by all these kinds of delicious food. I do go to the grocery store, but not as often as I used to. I try to avoid my grocery store as much as possible. And it really, really helped so far. So that's why. And I also have some fresh veggies that I am cooking with it. So that also is helping. But still, I don't like the idea behind stuff like that. Stir, okay, stir, so stir. she's like on an assistance program. So maybe their assistance program is a lot different over there than it is here. Because with us, it's like, you go to the food pantry, you're going to get what you're going to get, you know. And for some people, they can't afford to, go, like, say, go to the grocery store, you know. They can only afford to get what they get from, like, the food pantry. And let's just say there are times where it's just, like, they give us fresh produce and half of it is just on its way out. And it's like, you know, you're, you're trying to get people to eat healthier, even, you know, that we're, and we're, you know, we live in poverty, basically, we're struggling, but the shit that you give us is not even oh, palatable, like, my god, it just sucks. But then there's, recently, I got these, we got this big box of, like, ch chicken, vegan, like, uh, chicken quesadillas, um by tattooed chef and then like a couple of starbucks like egg cheese egg and cheese and bacon like little potatoes mixed in um wraps whatever from like literally from starbucks whatever so it's like what they sell there so um i really have enjoyed those though La, 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 la. I do add some sugar. If you look at this, this is probably 6 grams. Sugar contains 4 calories per gram, so that would be like 4 times 6, give or take 24 calories. And this portion is going to be probably for 4 times, so I do not have a problem with adding some sugar to my pasta sauce to make it less acidy. And as she can as cook, as I mean, her cook, her food looks actually pretty okay, like, it's, she... Wow. You know what I mean. I have been cooking for about 25 minutes and the sauce is completely done. Wow. It was Looks yeah, good. essentially just heating up stuff, <laughs> but it's done. And I didn't time it that well, so I still have to wait for my pasta I to mean, continue cooking. Considering what she's making, it does look relatively healthy. So, you know, I I mean, if she has a budget issue, like myself, it's hard. You know, you just got to work with what you have. You know, as long as you just control your portions and don't overeat and overindulge, then I think you'll be fine. Cooking. I just am going to lay on my bed for like four or five minutes, and after that I'm going to assemble my dinner, and then I'm going to eat. Stewie, I'm going to get you. Her cats are adorable. No, normally you would run away, and now you're just like, give me some attention. You're so cute. I was so worried about you last night, weirdo. You're not going to be happy, but I'm going to take you to the vet on Tuesday to see if you're doing okay. I, oh, I wanted to say like, enjoy that chair because I'm going to bring it down like later this evening. Yip, yip. Hey, Stewie. Oh my god. So here is my pasta. Okay, so here is my pasta and I'm going 
Ooh, ooh, there's something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> ooh, okay, I live. This is my pasta. I'm going to add some of my sauce. Of course, I'm not going to add this whole pan I would because just, I would like, be sick throwing up. Box the sauce and have it for another meal. You know, have it for another meal if you can. Like seriously, make it sp make it spin out in the toilet. Which is weird because if I would eat this in a pinch, I would definitely be able to eat the whole thing like easily. Let's mix this up. And I wasn't that hungry. I'm still not super hungry, but I have to admit, like, I am having all of these smells in my nose and I am getting a little bit like, hmm, maybe I am hungry. Say what? Maybe I am hungry after all. So that's it. Let's eat. <laughs> bon appetit. By the way, this is not one of my, like, perfectly cooked, most delicious and healthiest meals, but I just have to eat something, so I'm just going to eat it. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's other. Okay. Um... Honestly, not a bad vlog. Like, not a bad vlog. This is the kind of vlog, honestly, the kind of vlogs that I think Amber could be making, you know? I don't know much about Tammy Lemon, so I'm, this is me going in, like, head first, okay? Um... But I, I, I just like the vibe. I, I like her. Um, I think she is, she's trying. And I think, you know, she's very conscious about what she's putting in her body and conscious of the process, you know? I hope I'm explaining that right. Even within the chaos, there's, I see there's some direction, you know, with her. With Amber and Chantel, and I can't help but compare, I don't see that. Especially with Amber. Like, there's no real direction to what she's doing. She's like, well, I'm just going to shell out the laziest content and, you know, that's going to get me the money. Like, I'm going to sit here and go through my purse, do my make, you know, my makeup, and then, like, uh, do a Lego globe. Like, these are things that are just not content... Uh worthy you know but there with with this video there there's a there was a purpose behind this video i i feel like what i'm trying to say is is that she's doing tammy is is filming with intention and she is has a has a purpose behind the videos that she does okay I'm not judging her I, like i said i think she has a very sweet personality and uh, i really wish her well on her weight loss journey and i hope she can one day meet her goals. Like, seriously. And her cats are adorable. And, um, you know. Yeah. Uh, maybe she could w I w one, one day uh, opt for weight loss surgery. If that's uh, remotely possible for her. Like, I really hope so. Because I think, you know, that would ex totally expand her, 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 her future horizons. But at the moment, I don't see any problem with what I just watched. So, um, yeah, there you go. All right. I will see you guys later. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. I do have a PayPal. I do have a cash app and I do have a Venmo. So if you want to donate to my, me and my channel, those are the three options that I have available because I am not yet monetized on this channel. And also, I'm not, I've just started my gaming channel, so it's pretty much starting from grand, ground, ground zero over there. Um, but if you want to see my gaming content or are interested, that is where I will be posting my gaming content. Um, I'm going to try to start a vlog channel. And, a, you know, vlog channel and AM, ASMR are, you know, it kind of put aside right now until I can afford to get proper equipment but i may be able to set up a um amazon wishlist but then i just realized on um, that i would have to probably get a p.o box and i don't know what that entails and how much a p.o box would cost so give me time to like figure those things out but um i think having an amazon wishlist and stuff like that if you just so if you guys would rather just get me something that i need to help me make better content then um you could choose from the the stuff from the Amazon wish list instead of just giving me just outright money. So okay, um, there you go. I will see you guys later. Toodaloo, my loves.